news on the go. It's 7.54 and close to 70 degrees in Syracuse. Here are today's top stories and your news on the go. The city of Syracuse blocking off traffic on the 100 and 200 blocks of Walton Street. And that's all in an effort to get people downtown to restaurants and businesses safely. The city closing the street this weekend between South Clinton and West Fayette Streets to provide additional outdoor dining and retail space. If all goes well, the city hopes to do it for the rest of the summer and possibly expanding to other parts of the city too. Turning to New York State, 10 New Yorkers losing their fight Thursday, one of those in an Onondaga County hospital. The death toll of COVID-19 there, now at 191, revised down by five based on new information from the state regarding nursing homes. In Jefferson County, the Department of Health testing more than 400 people Friday as they face an uptick in cases from 4th of July weekend parties. In Syracuse, an eighth arrest has been made in connection to that deadly Rye Day shooting on the city's west side. Detectives arresting 22-year-old Quinell Stepney, charging him with murder. Nine people were struck that night, including 17-year-old Chariel Osorio, who later died from his injuries. The investigation is ongoing, and if you have any information, you can help investigators by calling 315-442-5222. Syracuse University is planning to hire 50 students to serve as contact tracers this fall. The school also designating the University Sheraton as a place where students can isolate or quarantine. SU aiming to release a plan early next week on how it will handle the nearly 2,000 SU students who live in states currently on the New York travel advisory list. It's 7.56. John is back for one final check of Central New York's most for accurate forecast. John? Thank you very much, sir, Adrian. Backyard forecast, hanging poolside today. That is the place to be, I'd say, or the beach, right? Um, if not one of those two, then an inside air conditioning this afternoon as temperatures will be up close to 90 degrees. Sunny and pretty hot and uh, pretty humid as well, but uh, we felt worse as far as humidity goes, and we'll feel that tomorrow. By the way, the record high tomorrow, set back in 1946, is 97. We're going for potentially record time, maybe record breaking, we'll see. Uh, sun, more clouds later in the day, maybe a couple late day storms, but for the most part, tomorrow is dry. Just do what you can to stay cool, and it does turn cooler and mainly dry for early next week. All right, thanks for joining us this morning for news and weather anytime. Download the News Channel 9 app. Our next update is at 827. Good Morning America is next. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.